Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just reviewing some Vivo Barefoot shoes. I guess I'll just fill you in right now. It's been about a year since I got these shoes, and I'm gonna fill you on on what they've kind of done for me and how I feel about them. After developing a gait which forced my ankles into a position kind of like those girls that are wearing ill-fitting Uggs, Yeah, kind of like that. Um, I decided something needed to change. I was really used to wearing Nikes that eventually my ankles caved in like that. You could see the wear on the foam. And I didn't even realize it for the longest time. At some point, my friends were like, Hey, dude, your ankles are all forked up. And I was like, what? What do you mean? I didn't even realize that at the time. So at that point, I started getting interested into barefoot shoes, uh, vans, something with like a stiff sole or something that wouldn't cave in. Um, but that's where I started to look into barefoots because I've heard like, wow, these things are great. And then I got into this whole thing. I've been doing a lot of high intensity running and movement stuff for, for most of my life. And I've naturally gotten a lot of injuries. Some of which have lasted for over half of a decade. I found a set of the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail Swim Run Edition and fell in love. Holy shit, something I could swim in, go hiking in, walk across the volcanic rock in, run in, lift in. I've used these almost every single day since I've got them, about a year ago. And let me tell you, these are by far the best shoes I've ever used, period. I'm not just trying to sales you or be some marketing. These are literally the best shoes I've ever used, period. My run times have improved significantly. My agility got better, my balance got more stable, and more importantly, my injuries slowly but surely faded away. Mostly. Also, my stupid ankles corrected. Naturally, these shoes aren't amazing with snow, mud, or scree, loose stuff. Um, and while this neoprene kind of ankle sock does exist, after a while it kind of just stretched out and didn't really hug my ankle, so, you know, dirt, debris, and grime could still get in. So I think the next pair I'm going to go for is something like the Magna Trail or something with a high uh, sock here that prevents stuff from getting inside. Of course, it's also breathable. It breathes really well, which is amazing in the summer, but once you encounter puddles or, you know, snow or mud, the stuff's going to kind of get down inside. It doesn't like leak through super easily, but it does, it eventually will. Um, if you're wearing nice merino wool socks, you're probably going to be fine. Um, and in fact, I almost only wear these with merino wool socks, just to keep my feet warm and, you know, merino's the way to go, baby. Anyways, I freaking love these things. The mesh here at the top is actually a recycled plastic and very tough. Not your average, uh, regular fabric. And listen, I put these through some insane amounts of abuse. As you could probably tell, these are all beat to hell. You can see there are things happening. I cleaned one, I didn't clean the other because I wanted to show off, you know, how it is. Um, I put these through insane amounts of abuse and they've held up extremely well. Normally I destroy a pair of shoes quicker than this and I've really put them through their paces. I was at some Adidas soccer tournament this winter uh, on artificial turf and I brought my nice cleats, you know. Um, I tried those on for a bit and then I put these on and I started playing and I realized, oh my god, I actually really loved playing these. Those are $300 cleats and I actually prefer to play in these it's because my movement is so much more natural, I'm more connected to the ground, I'm able to use those stabilizers and those muscles and frankly it's... Uh, it literally revolutionized my way of movement. The sole is this... The sole is this rubber, which Vigo Barefoot says is made of a recycled car tire type of rubber. Which is pretty cool. I like sustainability. Um, and over the years, you can see I've worn these out, you know. The traction here is going away and it's getting rough, but honestly, it's still really good and I've gone up mountains and hiking and everything. Never had a problem with grip even with it faded here. Um, it got to this point after about six months of running and using them continuously. They're tough, but they won't last forever. Um, but I'm totally okay with it because this even improves the feel of the surface that you're on. 
so it's not really a big deal in the end. Oh, and they are super quick and easy to clean. They're caked in mud, I like to use scrub, uh, scrubby, some warm water and just go to town on them. Uh, since this isn't a normal fabric, you can you can just be aggressive with, with the whole shoe and, you know, not really worry too much like, oh, am I going to damage my beautiful shoes? This is durable as heck. All this plastic kind of rubber material, it does, it does wonders. I've beaten the hell out of these things, as you can see. Um, I've even gotten these stitched up using nylon after... Uh, running into a tree while biking. It's kind of impaled the foot. I'm gonna stitch up these other holes. They are reaching kind of the end of their life. I, I feel like I can put so much more abuse to them, but you know, I think it might be time to move on to a new pair. Some cons? Well, maybe the styling is not for you. I don't really care so much about styling, but you know, some people say they look like swim shoes, they look weird, they'd never be caught out wearing those. Honestly, I don't care. Most people I'm around are athletes and they're like, oh, that's interesting. And they're always wondering like, hey, what's barefoot shoes like? Yeah, so I'm not really a fashion conscious guy. I don't really care about that stuff as much, honestly. Um, if they work great, then amazing. If it looks great while doing that, even better. I actually think these look pretty okay, but especially for a barefoot shoe, they're not the freaky five finger Vibrams that we see. You know, you look like a freaking serial killer with those on, honestly. A big benefit to having these is you can look down on people using normal shoes. You can yell heel striker out the window at innocent runners and become a little bit pretentious. I certainly have. Jokes aside, I definitely see myself never going back to cushion soles. The connectivity with the ground, the posture benefits, the comfort, the movement, the freedom, the locked in feeling, it's literally impossible to replace and like, this literally revolutionized my movement game. I've been doing sports for about 18 years of my life. I've been doing tons of running, agility, training, sprinting, marathon stuff, blah, blah, blah. And these are really like, the new holy shit is fucking amazing, man. Also, something that I really love, which is super underrated, are these pull tabs here. And this just helps you lace up super quick. Honestly, I almost don't want to go back to lacing up my shoes. I'm so lazy now. Uh, and this really helps. I just slip it on, tighten it up, good to go. That's one of another really fun thing. It's just a super durable shoe. Like, it. I could do anything with them. Like, I've seriously gone everywhere I can think of with these, and I want to have them forever. So please, if you go barefoot, send me more shoes. Please? Please? Also, just something about the company itself, Vivo Barefoot, they're actually pretty sweet, like, they're sustainable, they try and recycle materials, they, you know, for some of their shoes, they'll resole them for a price to give them extra life. Honestly, I really like that, I'm trying to transition towards sustainability and, you know, just spending my money wisely. I'd rather not buy my shit from Nike or Adidas or, you know, those big guys that make shit in sweatshops. In terms of sizing, uh, these are actually pretty interesting because what happened with my feet over about a year or so is they've actually increased half a foot size. I've gone from 11 to about 11 and a half, which is interesting. So these ones, I believe I'm running in a 44 European, which is about 10 and a half, 11 US. Um, just when you go try them on, make sure they're not too snug. Make, try wear like a thick sock, so if you... You know, you don't oversize or undersize by mistake. Speaking about snow and winter and all that stuff, I've gone through snow with these, no problem. They don't actually get that cold, and with one or two pairs of merino wool socks, you're gonna be fine. I've gone through really gross winter slush snow and been totally okay with them. They do come with a removable insole, which also helps for thermal, you know, protection, keeps it warmer all that stuff, um, but honestly, I I didn't even use them, I didn't care about them so much, like my feet were warm enough. It might help for you, especially if you got like a size too big, then you can slip them in, 
Um, but I run them without the sole, and I like this more. It gives less cushion between you and the floor, so you can feel the ground more, and it doesn't really make too much of a difference, so yeah. So one issue I did kind of notice with these is on both sides, this inner toe area will eventually get rubbed off. Um, same with here, you'll develop some holes just from the natural mechanics of walking. I think this kind of happened and created these unsightly holes to slash gashes in them. It's not a huge deal, but for structural integrity, it would be nice to see if this were like reinforced or, you know, just a little bit less hole-y, hole-y, hole-y. Anyways, I've gone backpacking, hiking, rock climbing, swimming, salt water, running, lifting, sports, literally everything in these. And there is no shoe that I've ever, ever, ever used that is as durable and comfortable and capable as these. 100% certainly worth it. Big thumb up. If you like this review though, please drop me a psych, a lament or a subscribe because it really just helped my channel out like algorithms and shit you know like it just helps me out man please do it man girl guy whoever you are um check out the other videos on my channel for some more weird stuff there's a lot to come so yeah catch you later guys and stay tight please vivo barefoot send me shoes Please?